Hello, you beautiful people. My name is Zach Downey. Today we're checking out a DIY skate park here in Valley Center, California, about an hour north of San Diego. And this is kind of like an abandoned DIY skate park in a way. It's built on Parks and Rec property, but the people that originally built this skate park have left and have sort of left it for the locals to manage. So the locals are sort of kind of inhabiting it. So in a way it is sort of abandoned. Locals are sort of like trying to take control, but anyways, we're gonna get a session on it today. It's normally really hot out here. They're doing a bunch of construction behind me. This used to be fields of goats and all sorts of just nature. So they're definitely like really developing in this area. I hope they don't get rid of the skate park. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to check it out today and skate it just in case, cause you never know what's gonna happen. They actually built this skate park around Jersey Bear. So originally it was just like, I think a flat rail or something of that nature. And then they have these Jersey barriers that they sort of just built onto. Now, you really don't see any of the Jersey barriers. They just sort of use those as a form, but like eventually built really good transition. It used to be really hard. So yeah, there's definitely some uh, hard stuff about this skate park and then there's some easy stuff, but yeah, let's get warmed up and check it out. It's definitely a, a challenging DIY. one spine right here there's a spine over there behind me and then there's another spine and then there's even a spine over here so many spines at this place a lot of spines Chris Cope recently grinded that thing back there in his independent part like grinded across the whole thing that was insane I'll show you it got some steep hips what's cool about this DIY spot is like there's parking blocks there's noping there's pole coping there's metal coping there's a lot of different like surfaces for the lip of all the transitions which is pretty dope like it's definitely a funky DIY where like they patched in a lot of work. So like they'll build one thing and then build something else and then you figure out how to connect it versus having this like overseeing plan. But yeah, check how gnarly this thing is. Pretty sure Chris Cope grinded that whole thing in his recent independent park. Go check it out to make sure I'm accurate. I like this little area. You guys say you need places like this that I can't skate. <laughs> I always take Sean to the hardest places. Oh, I feel bad. Good, I'm sorry, dude. It's all good. Fun to check out. Yeah, we're going to a skate park on our next skate date. Yeah. Something that we can both skate and manage. Every time we go to these spots that are really difficult. But you're you're gonna get something here. Yeah, look, it looks fun, but it's it's hard. It's hard, yeah. That's Mines are kind of different. Yeah, things aren't perfect at DIYs, but that's why it's a DIY. It it's like a skate spot. Yeah, almost. Pretty much. That's the thing with DIY skate spots. It's like, they're so unique and you have to really get familiar with them. And it's hard to like just show up and start doing your tricks. You have to like figure out how to get speed to things. It's a whole different ball game, really. Ah! Not too scary for front blunts. <laughs> All right, maybe it's not abandoned after all. There are a lot of locals, but uh, I don't know if they're really taking care of the park. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that like button if you did. Subscribe if you're not already. See you guys in the next one. Nah.